G'day and welcome to the electrical installation for DIYcamper.com.au Today I'll be setting up the camper trailer with 280 watts of solar panels, a red arc battery management system and a deep cycle gel battery, all designed to power the fridge and lighting systems for several days without access to mains power. I've got one 200 watt and two 40 watt solar panels which will be permanently mounted to the roof of the camper. These will be connected to the very impressive Red Arc battery management system, which combines a 240 volt charger, a DC to DC charger, and a solar regulator into a single device, intelligently switching between available inputs depending on the situation. It also has a monitoring screen, which displays detailed information about draw, charge, and battery status, so you know exactly what's going on. The BMS will charge a 135 amp hour deep cycle gel battery, which thanks to the use of a very efficient Trailblazer fridge, will be enough to keep me going for three to four days, even without any input from the solar panels. Begin the installation by securely mounting the BMS unit. It should be mounted horizontally in a compartment away from the elements. You should then mount the remote monitor, either inside the trailer or in a cabinet. As with the main unit, it's not waterproof and can't be mounted outside or in a harsh environment. With the battery mounted securely, you can then begin making the battery connections. Connect the current shunt and the pre-wired beige and red wires to the negative terminal of the battery. Then connect the other end of the red wire to the positive battery terminal. Next, connect the free end of the current shunt to the chassis and common ground of the trailer. You can then connect the orange and yellow twisted pair to the current shunt. The orange wire connects to the battery side of the shunt and the yellow wire connects to the other side. It's now time to make the connections to the main unit. Connect the yellow wire to the shunt negative terminal and the orange wire to the shunt positive terminal. Then plug in the cables for the remote monitor and the temperature sensor as shown. Now move to the battery and input connections. Begin by connecting a 5 square millimetre or 10 gauge wire from the output battery terminal to the positive side of your trailer battery. Next, connect a 5 square millimetre or 10 gauge wire from the chassis to the common ground terminal. Then connect the wire coming in from your tow vehicle to the input battery terminal. For the input cable, I'm using 16 square millimetre or 6 gauge cable to minimise the voltage drop. Next, connect the wire that's coming down from your solar panels to the solar input terminal of the BMS. It's now time to connect your solar panels at the top of the trailer. Using standard MC4 connectors is the safest and most reliable way to connect the panels. Begin by soldering MC4 connectors to the wires running down to the BMS. If you're using multiple panels, you can get adapters to connect the panels in parallel before attaching them to the wires running down to the BMS. Once the electrical connections are made, securely mount the panels to the roof of the camper trailer, using some sealant to ensure the mounts are watertight. Once power starts running to the BMS, it will do an initial charge to 100% before entering standard operating mode and showing battery status. I hope you enjoyed the electronics installation for the camper. If you'd like to know more about building your own camper trailer, check out DIYcamper.com.au